Hello Thrill Seeker, we are back from an epic Iceland adventure and let me tell you, it's a memory maker. Picture this, climbing glaciers, those ice crampons biting into the frozen snow. A total explorer vibe, right? But hold on, it gets wilder. We cover the whooping 2000 kilometers from the chill vibes of the west to the ruggest east, cruising the entire south coast. And the weather threw everything at us, rain, snow, sun everything iceland delivers seals check glacial lakes double check and don't even get me started on the northern lights chasing those elusive beauties is more than a hunt now imagine walking on a black diamond beach feeling the unexpected power of the iceland sea waves magic right stick around folks i've got the highlights rolling and you are in for a visual treat this is our icelandic roller coaster adventure and i can't wait to share it with you Hello, welcome to a new video on Studiada channel. Um, it's been a while and today uh, we are starting a new journey. Actually, yesterday we started the journey, but today it's actually the first day where we can see something a little bit less foggy and cloudy. And this is the gorgeous Iceland. So our plan for today is to do a little round trip over a semi-island on top of the, actually on the north part, of uh, Reykjavik and it's called Grundafjörður. I'm definitely sure that I'm not uh, spelling it correctly but it's something toward this area. Uh, I think that's about it for this intro so let's see how the things are going to work out. So see ya! Our journey kicked off from Reykjavik, where we stayed for the next four nights. As dawn broke, our first quest began, Itritunga. But let me tell you about this whole road trip. As you can see, the road in Iceland is a merge of endless white frozen panorama, with a couple of houses here and there, it's like a symphony of winter. And then, the Icelandic horse very often encountered here adds a touch of enchantment to this whole pristine white. Their beauty against the winter wonderland is just like a pure poetry. We have arrived at Itritunga. It's one of Iceland's prime seal spotting locations. Seals, being semi-aquatic creatures, split their time between water and land. Many of them prefer coasts or sea ice for activity like resting, thermoregulation, mating and giving birth. And interestingly, they don't have ears. Quirky fact about these fascinating marine mammals. We were really amazed by them, even knowing that they are harmless and quite cute. Their attitude reminded us of Simba, one of our cats. Observing these creatures as they are gracefully navigating their dual existence in the Icelandic coastal landscape is one of the peaks that we've searched from this trip. Spending a day on this side of Iceland was truly marvelous. We navigated from Itritonga to Arnarstapi, a charming village with cozy houses. And honestly, I believe it's a perfect spot to witness the northern lights. Of course, if you catch them. The little church there is very well known among enthusiastic photographers. Now, the landscape becomes even more breathtaking as you reach Kirkjufet also known as the Church Mountain. This mountain is one of Iceland's most famous one due to its spectacular shape, a form that is believed to be shaped during the Ice Age. As the dawn of the day arrives, we return to Reykjavik and explore the city, given that the previous day has been quite exhausting due to the flight. In Reykjavik, Halgrimskirka 
The largest church in Iceland takes on a distinctive and unique character, especially at night. Harpa, the concert hall, and Voyager Street Art, Reykjavik City Museum and so many others can be explored here. The second day was perfect for enjoying the stunning west coast of Iceland. From the rugged cliffs to the roaring waves, every moment was filled with just another vibe. It was different from our previous countries where we've been. But now let's see how the second day was. After a really difficult wake up due to the tiredness, a breathtaking sunrise painted the whole white frozen snows with hues of oranges and yellow, creating a spectacle that is really difficult to be described with words. At least I'm really happy that, that my drone managed to do quite a good job. But now, if you're planning to conquer Iceland like we did, I would really like to give you an advice. Renting a 404 car here is an absolute must. Iceland rugged terrain demands it and trust me, the independence that a car is giving to you is priceless. Without trains or subway here, your trusty 404 becomes basically your ticket to explore every hidden gem that this country has to offer. Good morning, it's our second full day in Iceland and our... I know I am laughing. She's laughing because I had like three attempts or four attempts yesterday trying to spell Iceland. I don't know, it was coming by naturally to say island, I don't know. Yeah, so, um, yesterday was quite a full day. We managed to get back to our accommodation around 2am. Yeah, yes. in the morning. We had a really good nap in a parking spot in the middle of the mountains during the, this winter because we were chasing for the northern lights and it seems that we didn't found them. I mean, either way, they were really low chances. We'll see the next days. So, yeah, uh, but nevertheless, today it's a new day and we are going to kick off the day by seeing Tingvetler. I think this is the proper name. Theoretically, this is the place where the tectonical plates are combined and you can actually dive between the tectonical plates. We are not going to do that today, uh, but we will explore a bit, a bit the area. I really don't like because it seems as one of those places where you really don't want to come by because it's so crowded. We'll see. It's um, one of the most popular tours here in Iceland, so... Yeah, okay, yeah. We'll give it a, a shot to see exactly how it looks like. Um, the place where you can dive is called Silfa or something similar. And uh, yeah, so let's see what will bring us today and what we will find out more. So let's go. The Golden Circle, undoubtedly a bit touristy, yet it holds a unique charm that's truly worth experiencing. After checking thing but lead, the journey leads you toward the captivating blast of the Strokur Geyser, followed by the water symphony of the Gulfos waterfall.
day began with a breathtaking visit to the frozen lakes in the heart of Grindavik area. As we stood in the middle of this icy wonderland, the powerful wind reminded us of the nature's raw beauty and strength. And as the day drew to a close, we found ourselves at the world-famous Blue Lagoon, where the geothermal seawater awaited us like a warm embrace. And as we stepped into the milky blue water, all our cares melted away. These are the sort of experiences that remind us about the beauty of this world. The next day kicked off with blurry eyes and barely 4 hours of sleep. But who needs sleep when you're chasing northern lights, right? The night before we were treated with a very shy view of the northern lights. With that memory fresh in our mind, we set off from Reykjavik heading toward Vik, ready for whatever the day had in store. As we drove, like a beacon in the distance, we spotted a waterfall. A small and perfect waterfall framed by a soft light. We couldn't resist pulling over to admire its beauty up close, feeling the water on our faces. The next stop was the plane wreck, a relic from 1973, when a plane crashed on the black sand of Iceland's south coast. Since then, it became a spot for Instagrammers and adventurers alike, drawn to its magic combination of colors and pure abandon. The peak of our journey was an icy jaunt. It felt unlike any other things done so far. First up, we dove into the enchanting world of glacier ice, learning the art of ice climbing under the guidance of the amazing Vava and Eric. Ice axes, crampons, harnesses, various climbing techniques, it's like a whole new world out there. With ice axes in hand and crampons secured, we conquered ice hills and walls, each one of them 
bringing us closer to the breathtaking beauty of Europe's largest glacier. Did you know that Iceland surface is covered 11% of ice? And only this glacier alone holds almost 8%. It boosts its impressiveness with 42 ice tongues. The bright, vivid blue of the ice makes you think of scenes from movies like Ice Age and Frozen, filling your mind with icy landscapes that seems almost magical. Trying to put this feeling into words is tough, because it's hard to fully express just how amazing it is. As we journeyed deeper into the heart of the glacier, we encountered huge crevasses, each one being a testament to the raw power and unveiling the old age of this land. We realized that the swing of the ice and placement of the crampons and this entire ice climbing is not just about physical preparation but also a profound connection with the nature. As a sport, it pumps a lot of adrenaline into your veins, but the feeling that you get when you fit the ice axe and small pieces of ice are touching your cheeks shadows into your soul the wilderness of this place. And just like that, our Icelandic saga comes to a close. From glaciers to chaining the northern lights, each moment has been a chapter in a story that we'll never forget. We've discovered that the heart of Iceland isn't just in its breathtaking landscapes, but it's in the spirit of adventure it instills in us. As we pack our bags and say goodbye to this land of fire and ice, we carry with us more than just memories. We take a piece of Iceland in our hearts a renewed sense of wonder and a thirst for the next adventure that lies beyond the horizon. To our fellow explorers watching, dreaming of their next adventure, remember this. The world is vast, filled with mysteries waiting to be discovered. Let Iceland to be a reminder to step out of your comfort zone, to explore, to feel alive. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. We've got plenty more adventures coming and trust me, you won't want to miss what's next. Until then, keep exploring, keep dreaming and as always, stay adventurous. Farewell for now friends, but not goodbye.